Hello everyone, welcome once again to the Global Business Update with TA for this week. Well, it looks like China might be defeating the USA in terms of artificial intelligence capabilities by 2030. That's right, they are already ramping up investments into billions of dollars into AI and, quick, quick, and could quickly um, go beyond the investments made by USA on an annual basis. But before that, a few signs. In 2020, China was quoted more in terms of uh, AI research articles rather than the US-based publications. So Chinese AI research articles have been cited more than the US research articles. That's a first. And not only that, it's around 2030 that China is expected to become the biggest economy in the world. And before that, their military might definitely uh, exceed the capabilities of the US military. It's going to be a tricky turning point and the world will be watching out on that for sure. Meanwhile, good news for the Bitcoin investors. Now, ordinary investors too can benefit from Bitcoin returns. And the very first Bitcoin linked by the Bitcoin futures linked uh, exchange traded fund the ProShares bitcoin strategy also known as bito the market well the debut of this uh, exchange traded fund means that the people could invest in these uh, etf and in return they would not directly put money into bitcoin but put money into bitcoin related futures contracts and as this and as those prices vary and ideally go up as the bitcoin prices go up so might the prices of the futures they would tend to get a benefit from those price rises. So it looks like ordinary investors finally have a chance to benefit from some of the Bitcoin related super gains. Good news there. Now, the Chinese economy is expected to slow down in their growth to around 5%, which is quite low compared to the 8.2% initial estimation. Couple of factors contributing to this. Number one, the resurging cases of the coronavirus. And at the same time, there is also the big concerns that the Chinese uh, government is cracking down on education related companies, tech related companies. We already saw Microsoft owned the LinkedIn leaving China and so many other tech companies are setting up shop uh, as their main base in some of the other nearby countries like for example Taiwan and uh, it is expected that there will be trillions of dollars of uh, market cap reductions of some of these big tech companies due to these crackdowns going to be a loose-loose effect on both the companies and the Chinese economy. To get vaccinated or not seems to be the question. And indeed, as some governments and companies are making it mandatory for the workers, employees to get their vaccinations and with many of them opting not to, it looks like tens of thousands of uh, workers, especially in some of the more blue collar labor jobs, like for example, truck drivers, they might not be reporting to work. And mind you, this is expected to add to uh, more supply chain crises and more supply chain problems being aggravated all around the world. Keep in mind that already the world is stuck on the supply chains and there are billions of dollars being lost. lost. And at the same time, uh, there is also a lot of delays in uh, the cargo and various shipments getting across. And now add to that the problem of uh, port workers, truck drivers not really reporting to work because of the vaccination rule. And there you have a more compounded problem indeed. Let's hope it doesn't get to that. There is also discussions about how Axon Nobel and even Procter & Gamble, some of these top uh, large conglomerate organizations are having a hit on their profits due to increased uh, raw material prices and packaging costs. Rising raw material expenses around the world is adding to an inflation in the production side. And as a result, these top companies have taken a hit on their profitability. And as the global economy continues to expand and recover from the pandemic, and as the demand for these raw material is rising, it's going to be a bleak looking future for some of these companies if they don't find ways to get this raw material and production costs under control. Speaking of uh, demand, well, remember oil last year, which was somewhere close to almost zero dollars a barrel because at one point government seemed to be willing to give them away free. However, now the scenario is different. The oil prices are rising and the demand is expected to hit around 600,000 barrels a day. And some of the organizations such as Saudi Aramco is expected to gain from these new developments. And finally, Netflix seems to have turned around their fortunes due to the Squid Games. 
the last quarter, quarter three, saw an increase of new subscribers by more than 4.3 million, whereas it was expected to hit only around 3.7 million. So indeed, the Squid Games is having a positive impact and even some of the other Korean entertainment, what they call as the K-entertainment, K-pop companies which are listed are also experiencing 50%, 80% uh, rises in their share prices because Squid Games has shown the power, the potential of K-pop and K-entertainment or Korean pop and Korean entertainment to really go and conquer the hearts and minds of the world. That's it for this week. And no matter what business you may be in, stay safe and have a profitable week ahead and keep booming.